Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, fabulous first grade. Welcome back to our PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Hammock, and I am your first grade PBS teacher here to help you practice and learn all the things that you need to be better readers and writers. And I'm so excited to see you. I'm glad you're here because we have some great learning to do today and all this week. Before we get started, though, I wanted to share a story with you. This story is I Am Enough by Grace Byers. So this week in our classroom, I'm gonna be featuring a whole bunch of different stories that were recommended that I share with you from Ms. Parker, the library tech over at Pyle Elementary School. So thank you, Ms. Parker, for picking out books that you know our kids will love. This book is all about a little girl and how she has friends and they're all different. But being different from one another is to be celebrated because how boring would it be if we were all exactly alike? And our job is to be kind and helpful to one another and to be a community of awesome people. And so this story talks about how even though she has things that she's not good at or she has days where she feels sad, she is enough. And you know what? So are you. You are enough. You are amazing. You are a special gift. And I want you to always remember that. You might enjoy reading this story if you would like a little encouragement and to remind yourself that you are enough by reading I Am Enough by Grace Byers. You can find it at your county public library, at your school library. If you go to Pyle School, this is from your library. And you might also check on Sora and see if you can check it out with a digital book. So I hope you'll do that because I would love to know if you like this book, okay? Now, another thing I wanna remind you about is that we have these super cool activity books. And if you don't have one, I would love to send you one. They don't cost any money, they're free. Isn't that cool? There's not very many things, boys and girls, that you can get for free. But this is free, it costs no money. Well, it does cost you something. You have to send me a letter. If you write to me here in our PBS classroom to the address right on the screen or send me an email, then I will put one of these books in the mail to you. You can draw me a picture. You can tell me something you'd like me to know. Maybe there's a book that you love that you would want other people to know about. Send me your letter and I'll put an activity book in the mail for you. No money at all, free. Isn't that cool? I know. All right, friends. Today, we are going to start with our phonemic awareness. And that is, do you remember? Oh, I forgot to get them. Let me grab them really quick. Do you remember? That's when we ooh, train our ears for sound. Right. Because before we can read and write letters and sounds, we have to, that's right, we have to train our ears for sound. All right. So today, we are going to play a blending game. We've played that a lot this year, and you're really good at it. It's an important, it's probably one of the most important things that we practice in first grade because that helps us with our reading and our writing. So I am going to give you some sounds and I want you to blend them together to make a word. You think you can do it? Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use my arm. You can use your word builder if you want or your arm. Whatever strategy works for you. Here we go. B, oi, ol. Let's put that together. B, oi, ol. A little faster. Boil. Boil. Great job. 
It was tricky, right? That oi sound is a little tricky. All right, let's try another one. You ready? J, oi. J, oi. Joy. Joy. Great job. All right, I have one last one for you. Are you ready? Here we go. V, oi, s, voice, voice. Terrific. Did you figure out what our focus sound might be this week? Did you say oi? Because you were right if you did. We're going to learn about that sound and how to spell it, and we're going to read some words with it. But before we do that, let's review some of the sounds and spellings that we have already learned. So let me get my fluency cards, and let's take a look at what we did last time. O-U says ow. O W says ow. Say them with me. A Y says A. A I says A. E A says E. E E says E. I G H, remember that one? Right, it says I. How about O-E? Good, O. And O-A? O, oh, good job. I-R says er. U-R says er. E-R says er. Do you remember A-R? It says R, good job. O-R says or. O A R says or, and O R E also says or. Good job. All right, you did that really well. Let me introduce you to a new sound that we're going to practice all week long. This is our boy card. Boy, do you hear the b oi oi sound? Right? So the boy card shows us the two ways that we can spell the oi sound. Now, the first way is the most common. That means it's the, the spelling that you will see the most often. And that is, O-I says oi. I want you to say that with me three times and say the sound. Are you ready? Now, if you have something to write with, I want you to write it. Or you can do it right on your palm pilot. Are you ready? Here we go. O I says oi. O I says oi. O I says oi. Great job. Now, the next way that you can spell and read the oi sound is with o y. And do you see this line here? Do you remember what that means? Right. It means o y is going to be found at the end of a word or at the end of a syllable, okay? Because remember, syllables are word parts. All right, so O-Y also says oi. Let's write it. Ready? Here we go. O-Y says oi. O-Y says oi. O-Y says oi. Good job. All right, today I'm gonna, you're going to help me. We're going to read some words with that spelling pattern. So let's look at the first word here. Oh, we have, I have them, I have the O-Y first. So let's do that one. Are you ready? All right, O-Y says oi. So remember, when you see that oi sound, you're going to say oi. So what is this? Right, T, and it says t, t, oi. Ready? Toy, toy. Great job. All right, let's take a look at the O-I sound. Now that's right in the middle. You remember we said O-Y is at the end of words or end of syllables? O-I will be in the middle. All right, so here we go. S-O-I-L. Soil. 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 Great job. Soil is, right, dirt. Or, very good. All right, let's take a look at our reading chart, and we'll just take a look at some of them and see if you can identify that spelling pattern in our words. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. 
and says, let's read O-Y and O-I. Here we go. Joy. J-O-I-N. Join. Oil. Oh, look. The O-I is at the beginning. So it can be at the beginning, too. B oil boil p oint point great how'd you do you want to try one more all right let's do this row ready k oin coin j oi full oh you're right look remember i told you it's at the end of a word or syllable well let's see it joyful joy full two syllables joy is it at the end? Yes, it is. Good job. All right, my friends, let's take a look at our high frequency words. Are you ready? All right. We have six of them that we're going to read together to, and spell. Toward, T O W A R D, toward. Money, M O N E Y, money. New. Now, this is the kind of new, like you know something, but in the past tense, I knew how to do that. K N E W. New. Fall. F A L L. Build. B U I L D. Build. Above. A B O V E. Above. Good job. All right, so let's take a look at our sentences and see if you can find the high frequency word. Are you ready? How much money does it cost? Which one of our high frequency words did you find? Good for you, money, super. How much money? He knew how to build a town out of blocks. Hmm, did you see any? He, oh, you're right. He knew how to, oh, I thought I could trick you, but I didn't build a town out of blocks. Good job. How does rain fall from, oh, that should say the, not they, the sky above. How does rain fall from the sky above? Oh, look at that. We have fall and above. Wow. So that means this one goes here. The dog ran toward the yard. That means when you're, he ran toward the yard, it means he's going to something. Okay, that's a strange sounding word, isn't it? Toward. I know, it's kind of strange. All right, my friends, today you have money, new, fall, build, above and toward. Those are the words that we're going to work on all week long. I hope you'll practice reading and writing them while you're at home. And I am so glad that you joined me today. Will you sing? Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye everyone. Bye-bye, come back and see me tomorrow. brand new day time to learn and games to play learning things is so much fun learning is good for everyone